We all heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Turns out, it does so much more than that. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heya. I'm a nutrition scientist with a PhD from King's College London. And on this channel, we talk about vegan nutrition, fashion, and materials. Today, we're gonna to talk about another plant leather, and that is apple skin. Firstly, if you haven't seen my previous video, which I'll link up here for you to watch, I wanted to tell you why plant leathers are so great. We know that animal skins cause so many issues, of course, to an animal's life, to the environment, and also to the humans who are creating them. I'll link a video that I made about that if you want to check it out. There are vegan cruelty-free leather options, but a lot of these tend to be made from plastic. We don't want to be relying too much on plastic. What plant leathers do is enable us to replace some of that plastic in leather-like materials so that we don't have to rely so much on plastic and animal skins in our wardrobes. So what is apple skin? It was created by a company called Frumat in Northern Italy. Their founder, Hans Parth, used apples to create a range of different materials, from leather to even paper. His innovations are inspired by cradle-to-cradle -cradle design. I want to tell you about cradle-to-cradle -cradle design because it's so cool. To understand cradle-to-cradle -cradle design, let's compare it to traditional cradle-to-grave. With cradle-to-grave, products have a sort of linear life cycle. You get the material, it's manufactured, a product is made, and then it ends up in a landfill. This linear life cycle of a product is really wasteful. Now let's compare that to nature. Nature doesn't work that way. It's self-sustaining and works in cycles, and that's what Cradle to Cradle is trying to mimic. It's a way to design products and processes so that they mimic natural systems. The intention of this kind of design is to not use materials one time and then just dispose them, but rather to continue to upcycle and reuse them. So it's modeled after nature's long-evolved, low-waste, energy-conserving process. Let's think about a tree. It emerges from soil created from other dead plants. It grows using the resources around it. It produces fruits and seeds. When it dies, it creates nutrients for other living things around it. This innovation of apple skin is an example of how we humans can create things as part of an ongoing circular system, just like we see in nature. Apple skin is supplied and manufactured by a company called Maple Synthetics in Italy. It's made out of leftover apples from the juicing industry. So it's skins and it's cores, for example. All these leftovers are dried, turned into a powder and mixed with polyurethane. This mixture is then coated onto a canvas and that's what makes a leather-like material. It's then dyed, giving a range of different colors available, and it's then embossed to give the desired texture or feel. So how sustainable is it? Now, apple skin does include polyurethane, but let's compare polyurethane leather with animal skin leather. From an environmental point of view, PU leather has way less of an environmental impact. Mabel and Frumat are trying to make this material as sustainable as possible. To do this, they're using recycled textiles, recycled PU, and natural pigments. And they state that their target is to have a product that has a 100% circular life. So what does apple skin look like? I wanna show you one of my example products, and it's such a cool brand. Wait till you hear the name. It's good guys don't wear leather. I mean, come on. It doesn't get much better than that. And that's these boots right here. Good Guys was born in France in 2011. Their founder, Marion, is also the designer of the brand. She used to be a shoe designer at other Parisian brands. Good Guys make a range of different vegan shoes, both for men and women. These in particular are the Blaze ankle boots. They're just a simple lace-up leather boot. I think they're really good for someone looking for a sort of military style boot or if you're really into kind of Doc Martens but you're looking for something a little bit softer, I think these are a great alternative. The leather is very soft, it has a very slight grainy texture but in general it's very smooth. If I just saw these and I didn't know and I didn't know that they were this brand, I would have thought they're just normal leather. They have a sort of soft rounded toe in the front. The heel is wooden, and the height of the boot is just sort of a little bit above the ankle. The inside is a soft microfiber, and I love that they added their really cool, loud brand name here in the back just with a little tag. I think it's really cool. Other example companies who use apple skin are Ashoka Paris. They make very chic handbags. Story 81, they have a crossbody apple skin bag. Comrades, who make sneakers. And Silva in New York, who make sneakers and also boots. Have you used any apple skin products? 
What are some of your favorites? Also, let me know if you have any questions, any questions about apple skin or the boots that I mentioned. If you like this video, you may want to check out my All About Plant Leathers playlist. It includes up and coming vegan leathers and product examples that you could check out and learn about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.